Hey, how's it going, everyone? Charles with CE Snyder Marketing LLC, and this is the next episode of My Personal Brand. And today I wanted to do something different because today is Veterans Day. It's Monday, November 11th, and I wanted to do something to thank all the veterans, all the veterans that I know, uh, such as my father. He served in the U.S. Navy, a couple of my uncles, uh, one uncle, Uncle Jim, he was in uh, Army. I think uh, my Uncle Bob, he was like uh, U.S. Marines. I think my other uncle, Dave, I think he was uh, he was either Air, Air Force or Army. I can't remember. But I have a number of cousins that have all served in the military. A couple of them are Marines, one in the Navy, a couple in the Army. And I have a lot of friends in all the different branches. But today is about thanking them, my father, all my family and friends who have all served the U.S. military and served our country to protect our freedoms. But like I said, this, this is really to honor our all veterans that have ever served, either in war or in peacetime. And which is distinct from Memorial Day. Memorial Day is to honor all those who died in military service. Veterans Day is to honor all veterans that have ever served. So I got in the article written for this video, and that is a picture of my father. <laughs> Back in, um, I'm not sure when that was taken. That was like 67, 68 time frame, or maybe it was after he was getting ready to get out in 69. But my father served back in the late 60s during the Vietnam War, and uh, he was actually based on USS Ranger, which is a forestal class fleet carrier or super carrier which has been featured on a number of TV shows, such as The Six Million Dollar Man, uh, Baba Black Sheep. It's also been featured in a couple movies like Top Gun and uh, Star Trek IV. They call it the Enterprise, but it's actually Rangers standing in for Re Enterprise. And Enterprise and Ranger look very different if you're at all familiar with them. But in the movie, at least in Star Trek, it was called Enterprise, but it was actually Ranger, the same ship my father served on in back in 1968. And I believe he arrived on ship for duty in 1968 in January. I was born in March, so he was still over there serving during the Vietnam War when I was born. Pretty sure he would much rather would have been here, but he was over there. He was serving his country, and I admire him for that. Um, and I think probably one of the biggest things is I've never, I don't think I've ever directly just said, you know, hey, Dad, I admire you for your military service, among other things. <laughs> but uh, anyway, back to back to my dad. He served there and then um i'm not sure I, ha I have to do some more research on this but i know during the time that he was there they had this like five month extended combat operation time frame um i knew they were due to be relieved and something happened you know that they weren't so they had extended combat duty and it was very intensive because they were conducting air operations over northern uh, Vietnam, when the USS Pueblo, Pueblo, I can't even pronounce it right, when the USS Pueblo was seized by the North Koreans in the Gulf of Tonkin. So his ship, along with all their escorts, they went north during that whole incident, which um, my dad actually has a, uh, a veteran jacket or vest that he wears now and has a huge patch on the back of it. It says the Gulf of Tonkin Yacht Club, <laughs> which is kind of humorous, but it was, you know, a very 
uh, tense and dangerous time. He made it through it, and he's back home. Thank God for that. But that's what today is all about is, you know, I wanted to thank, I wanted to uh, single my dad out specifically, but, you know, it, this is for all veterans. I know quite a few. There's Gary, there's Hawk, uh, oh, my God, Troy, uh, Jim, <laughs> my cousin Jim as well, my uncle Jim. And I know a lot of people that have served. And thank you all for what you have done for our country and what you continue to do because a number of you are still in the military. So thank you. Today's yours. I appreciate it. And um, that does it for me today. Love, peace, and chicken grease.